So this was the sound that I got to listen to during the night in one of the creek cottages here at Standing Bear Farm. Very relaxing. Today is Wednesday, April 4th, April 5th, <laughs> lose track of time. Day 26 then on the Appalachian Trail. Um, got a late start this morning. Uh, I stayed at a place called Standing Bear Farm last night. It's an icon of the trail, very eclectic place. <laughs> Just a lot of fun. It, it's easy to get kind of caught up in what they call the vortex where you don't want to leave for a while there. But I stayed in one of the creek cottages last night. Uh, water running right beside the, the, uh, the cottage or the, the cabin. Um, you do your laundry on a washboard and, and they had a super cool shower. It was really nice. Kind of an overhead, uh, pan pan shaped uh, uh, shower head and very colorful inside <coughs> I'll try and pop a couple of pictures of those up here um, a kitchen for hikers to eat at prepare their own meals if they want to uh, as I said the laundry had a washboard and a dryer and I don't know how well the dryer works uh, I hung mine out after I took them out of the dryer anyway, but the washboard was kind of fun. I had to watch a couple of YouTube videos to figure out how to use a washboard. Hadn't done that before, but uh, they had a glass washboard there. It was really, it was kind of neat. Uh, campfire ring, people talking and conversing. Uh, they have a bunkhouse uh, and the, the semi-private and private cottages and places for tenting and, and uh, that sort of thing too. I didn't see the tenting spots, but I know they're around there. I missed the evening meal they, they served if you wanted to have that. They had, I think, fish tacos last night. We were waiting around for breakfast a little bit this morning and, and the cook was still sleeping. So uh, just had some oatmeal this morning and some hot chocolate. But it was nice just to relax and rest up, chat with some of the other hikers and listen to stories. I think North Star, I didn't think she was going to pull in there last night, but uh, she did. She was there. We'll probably end up camping at the same shelter tonight, at Groundhog Shelter, I think. I'll try and make it. There's a few other backpackers that I've been hiking in and around that will probably show up at that one as well. Uh, but, yeah, yeah, I think hiker hunger is beginning to set in. You know, they talk about that happening you know, three or four weeks into your hike. Last night I had my mountain house meal chili mac with beef and after that I had <laughs> I had a package of uh, uh, nor alfredo noodles uh, plus a, a lot of water I was super thirsty last night so I was just you know, down probably two liters of, of water as well but uh, I think hiker hunger is beginning to set in I'm, and I was hungry this morning when I got up as well so uh, the, the trail is starting to have an impact. Pretty sure I've lost some weight. It's uh, hard to tighten my belt up anymore in my pack. Hope my pants don't fall off. Uh, but it's been it's been a great experience. I'm glad I stayed at Standing Bear last night. There've been some comments from other other folks I've hiked with that said, eh, you know, it sounds a little sketchy, uh, kind of a hippie hangout or something." But you know, it was it was just fun, just fun. A very different, very unique kind of experience. I'm glad that I did it. Uh, if you're hiking the trail, stop by Standing Bear Farm. Just give it a give it a look. Uh, I am not I am not sad that I stayed there at all. It was a long day yesterday. I hiked over 18 miles to get there, and it seemed like the the road would never end. The trail would never end. Coming up out of the uh, the bridge area, there was some oh yeah, there was some uh, trail magic yesterday too, zigzag and uh, 
Yukon Rasputin were there down by the bridge uh, crossing the river and had trail magic and lots of stories to tell. And, and it was uh, fun to just chat with them and stop for a little bit, even though it made me a little later coming in last night. I probably didn't get to Standing Bear Farm until about 7.30 last night. But I'd called ahead and they said, whenever you get here is fine. We don't, we don't have a you know, regular check-in time, just whenever you show up, which was nice. And so uh, today is supposed to be partly sunny and there's a few clouds floating around, but nice breeze. You can see the breeze blowing in the background there, which is also nice because it's warm. It's in the 70s already here. And, uh, but it, it's nice to get some hiking in today. The next three days at least, there's supposed to be rain. Um, I'm going to try and get to uh, Hot Springs here in the next three days and dig a zero there on Sunday. So catch up on some videos because without Wi-Fi, <laughs> you can't really upload anything. It just takes too long. And I need a zero just to catch up on, on videos as well. So those of you who have been watching me, I apologize for the, the long lapse between videos. But on the trail, it's just, it's just really, really difficult to, to put anything together and especially to get it uploaded. So I'll wait till I do a zero day. I should uh, roll into Hot Springs kind of early on the day that I'm going in there and then I'll have all the rest of that day and then the next day to uh, try and catch up on videos. So uh, I know day 18 was the last one that I did. And so we've got a few days to do. Anyway, that's uh, that's about it for news from the trail at the moment. Uh, coming out of Standing Bear, it's about a five mile climb. Uh, and so I'm in the middle. Well, I'm not even in the middle. I'm probably only a third of the way up, up the mountain, uh, but I needed to Stop, take a OMB, old man break, cool off, let the breeze blow, and and uh, just enjoy my time here in the scenery. And the trees are flowering, and uh, there's more wildflowers that are apparent on on the hillsides. So, having a good day. I hope you are too. We'll be pushing on. Stay green and keep growing. Just another memory of uh, Standing Bear Farm. Uh, first of all, it was a long climb coming out of the the, uh, the bridge over the river and then under the interstate and then up up some stairs and uh, up the hill. It seemed like it would never end until you finally get to the place where it says standing bare 0.2 miles <coughs> to the left and it trail that parallels the road there for a little bit and then it goes down on the road and from the campfire that's standing bare you can see hikers coming in on the road and that was one of the guys down there as I was as I was uh, walking in hollered up at me and said hey is that more hiker trash coming in and I said guilty as charged um, hiker trash is a term that that uh, long-distance hikers often use to refer to themselves not sure where it originated, but we're just a little different than your regular folks. <laughs> so we call ourselves hiker trash. Um, we also carry a certain aroma with us after several days of no showers. Uh, so it's nice to get a shower and the shower felt so good. Oh my goodness, it felt so good. But anyway, Pinks was the name of the guy that was, that was uh, hollering up at me from the campfire. Very interesting guy. So I am now the community of hiker trash and I'm okay with that. Mm -hmm.